I'm a big fan of this article from Ashley Faust over at Atlassian. Uh, create a content playground that's fun for buyers and lucrative for you. Uh, so obviously right from the get-go, we have a strong coined concept, the idea of a content playground. And I know that it's a strong concept because I have been thinking about this framing ever since I read this probably last year. Uh, and that framing, that coin concept is built on an article which fundamentally is challenging convention. The core narrative here is that the traditional marketing funnel, the way we think about people progressing in a linear way through marketing stages, uh, doesn't make sense. People go back and forth, roundabout, up and down, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Uh, and actually the funnel is not a useful conception, a playground is a far better and more practical framework. Uh, and that's a good argument, and that is a good argument that builds on a truism, something that our industry generally believes to be true and doesn't think too hard about. So right from the get-go, uh, it's interesting, it's contrarian, it uh, challenges our assumptions. Uh, it's yeah, a good, good concept right from the beginning. Uh, I also like how intensely credible Ashley comes off in her writing. Uh, right from the beginning, the very opening paragraph is a first person experience. Uh, it's her talking about something that happened to her. And through doing that, she is saying, I have lived this, I am part of the world that you are part of, I understand the challenges you go through every day. And therefore, my advice on this subject matter is credible as a result. She's been very, very good at doing that. Uh, and she reinforces that later on by talking about how Atlassian does something. So again, not only is she talking about her own personal experience, but she's bringing her company into it as well. Uh, that's another good flex because she's obviously associated and knows this intimate company very well. She can speak on their behalf. It also proves her credibility in this area. Uh, and she's also done the classic -y thought leadership thing of introducing a framework. So once again, we're not just solving a single discrete problem, you know, like we're having trouble attributing people as they come down the marketing funnel. She's basically addressing that problem and saying the way to solve that is by thinking about this from a completely different, completely lateral perspective. Here is a different way of thinking about this that will equip you with the skills and insight you need to solve this problem and others in the future. So she introduces this idea of the conceptual level, the strategic level and the tactical level uh, as a way of replacing the old funnel stages. And that's good and that's useful. And then she makes it even more useful by showing how that framework can be used in practice at a real world company. Because one of the dangers of thought leadership is that we write things that are a little bit too complicated, a little bit intellectual, a little bit academic, uh, and things that maybe fall apart when you actually try and implement them in reality. We want to cultivate a little bit of the whole, uh, you know, ivory tower vibe, but we also have to have practical advice and show how the ivory tower ideas translate into useful real world stuff. And Ashley has done that very well. Uh, in terms of things I would maybe look to improve, there are two things that jump out at me from this article. Uh, it feels quite marketing-y. Uh, and that, I think, is just a constraint of where it's published. You know, this is the CXL blog. It is a company blog designed for marketers. Uh, they are conversion optimization experts. So all the pop-ups and links and banners you'd expect are present. The thing that maybe we could have controlled a bit more in the writing and editorial side of things are the images used. Uh, stock images, images taken from other blogs. Uh, this is from Luckless Digital. Uh, as well as feeling kind of, you know, ill thought out, uh, slightly insincere, slightly marketing-y, they also give away your authority. You are basically delegating away your genius and saying, hey, my idea is good, but it's not quite as good as this idea, this framework that somebody else had. And that may sound like a slightly pedantic thing, but I think wherever possible, we want to be presenting ourselves and our network as the originator of these ideas. So personally, I probably would have sketched out a quick, ugly version of this funnel that we can use and attribute to ourselves instead of linking out to another generic marketing blog that we probably don't have any association with, we probably wouldn't vouch for their ideas. 
Uh, and yeah, some of these stock images in here just, you know, it's not Instagram, man. It's a thought leadership blog post. Uh, and the other last thing as well, it is very long, which I know is the mandate for CXL, and that's fine. But the narrative peters out right about here. Uh, I read this, I was interested, I was hooked, and I lost interest right about here because it feels like we just deviate from the core point we were making, which is the playground. That is the big idea. Um, so I'd maybe break this out into two articles or consider condensing the distribution framework into the earlier section. So it was just part and parcel of how Atlassian applies the framework. Uh, because we've kind of, you know, devolved into an almost tutorial style how to, which I think is not quite in the spirit of what was a really interesting, novel and contrarian idea from the get go. But yeah, it certainly works in this context. I've remembered it ever since. Lots of good information in here. Uh, a big fan of Ashley's work on this topic.